there teachers! This video will show you how you can use some pointer tools for your screen. Now we're looking for system preferences. You can either get it from your Apple uh, that, that's at the top left of your screen or you can find it in your system preferences icon on your dashboard and it looks like a little gear. So either way you'll get the same window and we're looking for accessibility. It's a blue circle with uh, a person inside with its arms and legs expanded. Here we go. So that's accessibility. So this is the one that you're looking for. You want to make sure to click on that. And then on the left hand side you have a menu and so we're looking for Zoom. So you're going to click on Zoom and then you'll notice that there's options on the right hand side and so you want to make sure that you click off the ones that are um, clicked off on my screen. So it'll be the first one, the second one, go over to uh, these options here and make sure you click on picture in picture and then the last one. So we're going to go over to advanced and we're going to make sure that all these others are check marked or selected. And so once we're done there, then we're going to go to the button at the bottom. So with this, we're going to customize the size of our box by dragging the corners of our magnifying box in or out, depending on how you like it. So once you're done selecting the size, you're going to click OK in the center of that box. And then it's set. So then you're going to go ahead and click on OK. And then um, you'll be able to use the shortcuts that are here. So it's the shift command and the eight to uh, toggle uh, to and from, and then the minus sign or the plus sign to minimize or maximize. It says equal there, but I like to think of it as plus sign. It helps me remember. And so that's how you would use it. I'm gonna go ahead and, and test it out here. Of course, I already had it, but wherever you point your mouse, that's where it'll magnify. And as far as the circle, I'm going to show you how to get that. So um, to get that circle, that is a paid app. So we're going to have to go to the App Store. And the App Store, you'll find it on your dashboard. So it's a blue circle with the letter A inside. You want to make sure that you're logged into your personal account um, because you can't buy it with your district. So um, here, I'm going to go ahead and type in my own personal account. Now this app is 99 cents, so it's really not a big deal, at least not for me, um, but it comes in handy. Like I really like this and I just purchased it. So I gotta make sure that I'm logged in. Right now it shows the school, but now it's switched over to my name. So right there, see, that's how I know. And now I'm going to click in the search bar and type in Pointer Pro and enter that. So I'm going to go ahead and select enter on my keyboard so that it searches for Pointer Pro. And this is it. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that button there. It says buy, so I want to buy the app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on buy app. And it's asking me for my Apple ID password so that I can purchase it. Now, depending on how you have your Apple ID set up, it, it may not prompt you for it. So then I'm going to look for the buy button and click on that so that I can purchase it. And so right now it's installing and it's asking me if I'm sure and I'm going to go ahead and click uh, yes I am let's buy it let's go for it and so here I gotta wait for it to install which doesn't take very long so now I can open it once it's finished installing 
And what happens is at the very top of my screen to the right, there's the button for the Pointer Pro. So I'm gonna click on that, and there's different options that you can control here. Um, right now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and click Turn On. So right now, I have my spotlight on. So wherever I move my mouse, it'll spotlight on the screen. So, and, and it shows the background in red, but I can change that. But let's look at something else. Um, it doesn't have to be a spotlight, it could be an arrow. So let's say I just wanna point wherever it is. So this is another great way to uh, demonstrate where you're navigating to. You can also use um, the circle. And so there's the big re uh, red circle that's there, but you can also change that. Um, you can change the size of the circle by moving the toggle for the size. You can also change the color. There's red, blue, and black. And then here is the opacity. So you can make it lighter or darker, whatever you prefer, or that you find is best for your audience. And so that's about it there. So let's go back to the spotlight. I wanted to show you something here. So we're going to change uh, the opacity setting here and the size. Um, so the size of the circle will, will change here with that toggle and the opacity. If you notice, you can see the screen a little bit better. And so I kind of prefer this uh, for myself if I'm going to use a spotlight. You can always turn it off back in the settings. So this is only compatible with Mac computers. I'm not aware of one for Windows, but I'm sure there is one. But that's okay because, you know, Miss Mena is the only one that uses her Windows computer anyway. So I hope uh, that you guys were able to um, install this and find this useful. I'll be making more videos to help teachers make their jobs a little bit easier with these technology tools. So make sure that you subscribe. Take care.